We are back in Geneva, Switzerland, in the heart of the city, at Vacheron Constantin's Geneva Boutique, where today I'm fortunate enough to get a walkthrough of some of the brand's greatest contemporary timepieces, with a man who has been with the brand for nearly 30 years, Christian Salmoni, the style and heritage director of Vacheron Constantin. Christian, thank you. I first have to, again, just uh, continue to just express my gratitude for allowing me to come here and speak to you and uh, get to look at some incredible timepieces. Uh, all the uh, pleasure is for us. I <laughs> really appreciate it again. So, uh, could you first maybe give a little background about uh, your role here at Bachelor? Yep. And so, so, mm -hmm. so, my name is uh, Christian Salmoni, and uh, I'm a style and heritage director of the company. Uh, I have a, well, quite a long career at Bachelor Constantin since I, I am working in the company since uh, 29 years. So I made most of my career in the field of products, so product development, then uh, uh, design. I, w I was head of, uh, of the, the creation department. I also have been a, a marketing product director and a f artistic director of the company. So I, I moved to, the, to my present position in September 2017. And so it's a, it's a great, uh, for me, it's a great combination between style and heritage, uh, two areas in which I can, I can really work um, uh, and uh, do my best to, to showcase the, the art of Vacheron Constantin. So with these pieces, I think there's, when I look at Vacheron, there's always an admiration towards your past and you, you really do care about your history. Yes. So maybe let's start with looking at uh, a newer piece, um, looking at the 56 and okay. kind of descri describing that, because that's, that's a different offering for what you guys usually are doing at Vacheron. So can you describe that release and then also kind of give us a walkthrough of this uh, particular one we're looking here? Yes, certainly. So 56 is a, I would say is a is a classic, uh, elegant uh, timepiece, uh, which is the name uh, 56 com comes from the year 1956, when we launched uh, uh, quite an iconic model of uh, of, the, of the of the maison, mm -hmm. reference 6073, mm -hmm. and uh, so <coughs> we have based the design of the 56 on that particular model, the 6073. However, this is uh, this is a contemporary uh, creation, so we just uh, you know our designers have just uh, have been inspired by the watch of 1956, but it's a really let's say a very modern timepiece. And uh, so uh, 56 um, uh, is, uh, is different, I would say, from, from patrimony or traditional, mm -hmm. in the sense that uh, maybe it's a more relaxed way to have Vacheron Constantin. Mm -hmm. the, first, uh, the first line that we have in, uh, in Vacheron Constantin's collection, uh, that is in steel, uh, with the exception of overseas, but overseas being a sport watch, so the steel may make still makes uh, is an ob obvious choice mm -hmm. and so we have an offer of from from simple watches time only up to high complications the tourbillon uh, for example mm -hmm. so it's uh, so this is uh, this is uh, in, in, a, in a few words uh, uh, 56. Mm -hmm. Excellent. and then moving to uh, two of my personal favorites with the coin de vache in the 1921 um, talk about the for one just the significance and connection to your guys history and uh, in the design of these pieces Can yes so uh, we have created a, a collection, uh, the historic collection uh, at Vacheron Constantin, which is a, a collection in which we are really paying tribute and revisiting uh, iconic designs from the past or spectacular creation from the past. And uh, we have few models in, within this collection. However, all of them uh, have a very important uh, resonance in the, in the heart of collectors. Mm -hmm. So uh, maybe to start with the, this one, so the American 1921. So as the name suggests, this is a watch that was uh, that has been created in 1921 mm -hmm. and was used, um, uh, was, was uh, shipped to, to the American market. So this is one of the very early driver's uh, type of watches. So we have a very unusual uh, crown at one o'clock and the, 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 the dial is also uh, off-centered. Off mm -hmm. So that gives, uh, together with the, the very beautiful cushion shape, that gives a very special uh, design, very special look to this to this timepiece, which is uh, which is really um, I would say, for me, uh, uh, <coughs> a typical Vacheron Constantin design in the sense that uh, this is a classic design by by the by, by the shape, but there is a, so there is a twist, and very often in Vacheron Constantin's creation from the past you find a little twist, mm -hmm. which is also present in the in the second timepiece that we have here, which is the which is the, 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 cr the 1955 uh, chronograph, uh, Corn de Vache, Cow Horn Lugs. So um, uh, this, is, uh, this is a very famous uh, uh, chronograph. Uh, it's based on a very famous chronograph from 1955, which was the first uh, waterproof chronograph by Vachon Constantin and also anti-magnetic. And um, once again, we can see the li little twist, which is the signature of Vachon Constantin. If you look at the dial, this is very serious, very professional dial, so mm -hmm. you know nothing is... Everything is here, but nothing, nothing more or nothing less. 
and we have a very strict case, round, round case. However, we have these very flamboyant lugs, which are, which are really, you know, uh, uh, a kind of fantasy from, from, from the designers, Beautiful. but which gives to this timepiece a very unique personality. So mm -hmm. that's a very beautiful timepiece, the Chronograph 1955 Cordobash. And then moving along to two very iconic dress watches up here. Yes. Let's speak through a little bit of that. Yes, of course. So <coughs> maybe we'll start with the patrimony. So patrimony is uh, probably uh, today, this, this is the most important, the most successful uh, collection at Vachon Constantin. Mm -hmm. So <coughs> patrimony is, uh, is really the, I would say, quintessential uh, classic round watch, elegant. Mm -hmm. And uh, this, is, uh, this is a design that was uh, launched in 2004, and uh, we haven't changed anything on the design since, uh, since the 2004. And uh, it, uh, it takes its inspiration uh, from the 50s, and uh, we have one particular timepiece which, uh, which is quite similar to this one, uh, which was uh, created in 1957. So the, the patrimony, I would say, is really uh, for us uh, an icon of elegance. So we have very, uh, very long indexes which are, which are curved, we have also a dial which is curved. We have a, we have a pearl menu track. We have a pair of hands, mm -hmm. just a small second, and that's it. It's a very pure, essential design. And uh, we have a wonderful movement design, so this is caliber 4400. Mm -hmm. And this one is the model, is the large size, 42 millimeter, in white gold. So we have it also in 40 millimeter mm -hmm. and 36 millimeter. So in addition to... Yeah, contrast that with the traditional. In addition to, to, to patrimony, mm -hmm. we have a second uh, classic line, which is, um, which is a traditional. As the name suggests, this is a very classic, a very, I would say, Geneva-styled uh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, collection, uh, which uh, design is, uh, takes its roots in creation from the brand uh, in the 30s, 40s, 50s. Uh, notably uh, on the on the dial, so the dial looks uh, very simple. So we have uh, indexes which are set on the dial, and we have a silver background. However, we we have up to five different finishings on the surface of the dial. Mm. So it's quite this this is uh, depending how the the light is catching the surface of the dial, the reflection will be Beautiful. different. So this is this kind of sophistication that we are looking for when we design the classic watches at Vachon Constantin, because because this is also. Uh, one of our signatures, I would say, together with the elegance and, and refinement. And so hand, that's finishing on the hands as well. I think okay. that when you talk about the reflection in the light, it's one thing that catches my eye every single time I see a traditional. You're right, and this, this is also due to the fact that we have a, a pair of uh, dauphin hands, mm -hmm. and uh, one one uh, side of the of the hand is polished, different finish, and the second one is, is satin finished. Uh. So that gives really a very good uh, readability, and this is super uh, elegant as well. Absolutely. Okay, so now let's move to the moment we've all been waiting for, the Twin Beat. <coughs> twin Beat, okay. Uh, 2019. <coughs> Talk a little bit about this watch for people that aren't familiar yes. with it. I mean, uh, ability to, um, it has two balance wheels. Okay, uh, so maybe to introduce Twin Beat. So yeah. I, would, I would like to say first that Twin Beat is part of the traditional collection. Uh -huh. But it's interesting, I would say, <coughs> it's showcasing the, that Vacheron Constantin is on one side very traditional, but uh -huh. who has a lot of traditions, so yes. we are very proud of our traditions. But at the same time, we can be very uh, modernist in the approach uh, in, 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 in contemporary watchmaking. So this is a this is a spectacular creation. So this watch, despite its uh, 42 millimeter diameter and its uh, its uh, thinness, uh, has uh, 65 days of power reserve, mm. which is just absolutely uh, Impressive. unbelievable. Impressive. Uh, and so. Uh, Twin Beat is a very uh, is a very uh, innovative concept because uh, rather than to add barrels and barrels and so create uh, a certain point a huge, wat huge watches, our engineers they really thought out of the box and it, and uh, they they decided to create uh, a timepiece which has uh, which has one source of energy a twin barrel system at twelve o'clock and we have two different gear trains. One which is uh, for the normal mode, mm -hmm. so the normal, normal mode it beats at 5 Hz mm -hmm. and gives you uh, 4 days of power reserve in, with a very good accuracy. And the second gear train uh, beats as, at 1.2 Hz, <laughs> which is very, very low. It's uh, mm -hmm. 8,740 8, uh, vibrations per hour. Mm. And so this is the standby mode. By activating with a trigger, which is uh, located uh, here at, uh, at 8 o'clock, the owner can select uh, the standby mode or the, the, act the active mode. 
And so um, this is uh, particularly interesting if you consider that TwinBit is a perpetual calendar. Hmm. And we know that uh, one thing uh, that can be a problem with a perpetual calendar is that when you leave your watch in the safe for a couple of days or three or four days, uh, when you come back, your, your watch will, 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 will have stopped. And so you will have to reset your perpetual calendar, which can be complicated. And so with TwinBit, uh, let's imagine, for example, that you are going to go to vacation a couple of months. Mm -hmm. So you will, uh, you will uh, wind up your TwinBit, uh, then push the, the standby mode, put it in the safe. And when you will come back two, two months later, you will still find your TwinBit working. And your, so your perpetual calendar will still be uh, perfectly set. Hmm. So that's, uh, that's, uh, that's uh, the, the, the answer to a, to a problem that exists since the beginning of perpetual calendars. So in addition, TwinBit is, a, for me, I would say personally speaking, it's a wonderful uh, combination of uh, tradition and modernity mm -hmm. uh, with a very, very beautiful aesthetics. And I love the idea of the designer to, to have uh, cut half of the dial to showcase the perpetual calendar and, and the two oscillators. So. Mm -hmm. This is, a, this is a platinum timepiece. And uh, well, this is uh, one of uh, the stars of the show uh, in January at the SHH. Definitely. And maybe just speak to it high level. You mentioned and kind of hint at it, looking at there is a look towards the past, but there's also yes. a look towards the future in your pieces. Can you just describe just the approach that you take yes. for releasing a new timepiece and what is it, you know, what are you looking for? Yeah, sure, sure, sure. So I think you, you are pointing on something which is very important. So this, uh, this balance that has to be found uh, by the designers between uh, tradition and modernity. Mm -hmm. <coughs> so I think uh, on one side, it's great to have, a, to have, a, to have a, an exceptional heritage, like this is the case for Vachon Constantin. Mm -hmm. But it's, Im it's important not, not to look only to the past, <coughs> but to create new contemporary products. So, um, so th there is a balance to, to find by the designers uh, to, to, to pay, still pay tribute to some design elements from the past. I'm thinking about the patrimony, for example, which is a very good example. Mm -hmm. but, uh, the, but the designers, they will have to, uh, to incorporate into their design uh, modern aspects. Uh, for example, here I would say the diameter of 42 millimeter, and uh, the very sleek elegance of, uh, of, of the timepiece. So it's always uh, a matter of balancing uh, the past and, and the present. And this, for all the collections that we that we have, we are really uh, we are really recreating this connection, which is highly important for us between t today and yesterday. So we are always um, incorporating some little elements that are coming from the past because we think that this, this precious link between our traditions and today is something which is absolutely important. So for those people that are maybe watching, and you know, wh why I think Vacheron is so compelling, especially after seeing your facility yesterday, is the fact that it's a, it's a brand that there's so much aspiration in your collection. No matter who you are, there's always something more to strive for. So for maybe somebody that doesn't uh, have any, their sight set on a Vacheron watch, what would you say to those people to just kind of compel them to look at the brand a little <coughs> bit more deeply? Yes, I think that um, the, 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 the word which, which comes to, to me immediately is uh, authenticity. Mm -hmm. So we are a company founded in Geneva in uh, 1755, so we have 264 years of existence. Mm -hmm. And we always uh, have been doing the, the finest watchmaking. And, uh, and, and I think we have been able to, to maintain our traditions of, uh, of uh, beautiful uh, watchmaking and also uh, classic and elegant aesthetics since the very beginning. And so uh, I think that um, this, is, uh, this is a very strong aspect, uh, aspect for us. In addition, uh, I would say uh, there, is also there, there are also uh, common elements that are, that are through the different collections of Vacheron Constantin. Mm -hmm. I think this, it's really important for, for us to, to remain classic and to have uh, elegant design, to have uh, refinement in the finishings, uh, cert certain degrees of sophistication as well. So uh, this, is, um, this is all about, uh, at the end of the day, this is the, that there is a quest for beauty in, in our watches. Beauty uh, when we consider the cases, the dials, the hands, etc. But beauty also inside with b beautiful moments and great finishing. Mm. Well, Christian, I want to thank you again for allowing us yeah, to pleasure. Come and look at these fantastic pieces. And, um, thank you so much. We'll be able to see you again soon. Thank you. So big thank you again to Christian for finding time to sit down with me. And guys, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, especially if you wanna see more videos like this in the future. 
In addition, don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell icon, and go to teddyballister.com to take a look at our wide variety of watch straps that we have available. And it's a great way to support us and what we're doing here. So guys, thank you again so much for watching. Be well, and I will see you all very soon.